Hello guys, and today we got here another very awesome deck profile. We got here some light swarms with the clown blade engine, and this is going to be very interesting just to see light swarms still being a thing. They're always going to be a thing, and something's always going to come out that helps them. But the thing is, though, that I want to point out is I am not running Minerva, I'm not running the XYZ because Minerva is a prize card, I do believe. So that means that it's really hard to get Minerva. Um, so we won't be seeing any until people win YCSs and then it's just going to be very difficult to obtain. They're going to be very expensive. So if you see a Light Swarm deck or you want to build a Light Swarm deck, don't expect Minerva. I mean, once you get Minerva, you can put in, just put in two or three in the extra deck and you can change some things around in the main deck. Like we're running Needlebug Nest just so that way we can do more milling very quickly. And we are only running two JDs because milling JD clogs in this deck. Like you want this, you have to mill certain cards. You just have to mill certain cards. And so I'll just go right in. Yep, just two JDs, pay a thousand life points, pull up the field, can do this as many amount of times as you want. Can't really do the whole OTK, summon one, blow up the field, summon two more, go for game. But you really don't need to do that in this deck ever. We're only running two, so that way we don't mill one uh, and not be able to mill the cards we need. Wolf, he, he's a card that we'd want to mill, but not that we want to draw into. So, some things to note with light runs is that you have to have two consistency areas. You have to have consistency in your mills and consistency in your hand. Um, you want to draw into the right cards. Both problems can occur no matter how you build the deck. Uh, three Raidens. Uh, you gotta run three Raidens. He will just mill two, and then during the end phase, mill two, and he's at level 14. One Lila to pop back row and wield cards like Macrocosmos. And three, Performance Trick Clown. If he is sent to the graveyard, so if he's milled uh, or sent to the graveyard for cost, you can special summon him, then take a thousand damage. Um, he's good because he can be normal summoned, so pretty much he's a wolf. He's better than a wolf, but can also be normal summoned. So that is definitely something. And if you detach him, he can summon himself back out. So he's a can be a pretty much a one card X Y Z. Dama juggler, uh, damage juggler. It used to be Dama juggler, but now it's damage juggler. Um, you can discard him from your hand as a hand trap, and you take no damage, and then banish him from your graveyard to add a performance monster from deck to hand. Only running two because again, he is a decent mill because he will get you to that search, but. Again, there were very similar cards, which is Heroic Challenger, Thousand Blade, and Clown Blade, and then of course Wolf and your Light Swans that you want to mill. Um, Thousand Blades, he's, if you take damage, you can special summon him out. So if you use Clown's effect, you can then special summon out Thousand Blade because you take a thousand damage. So he is very useful in that. Um, if you wanted to, you could also run a Zephros. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do, just be able to return a face of card you control. The hand. Um, hat Tricker, if there are two or more monsters on the field, you can special summon this card. So it's really easy, it includes your opponent's monsters as well. So if you just summon Raiden and your opponent has a monster, you can special summon this guy out. Um, so you just make rank 4s, you just use this as a rank 4 engine pretty much, just constantly trying to make your rank 4s to do something. The only unfortunate part is that there isn't any just good open rank 4s. Minerva is a great open rank 4 that you can make first turn or whenever because she has an effect if she leaves the field she can destroy cards and she'll just mill and help progress your plays but unfortunately you're not probably gonna have Minerva. Uh, three Lumina, gotta run three Lumina, she, you can discard a card such as Clown Blade to get its effect or Dama Juggler to banish it at or whatever to special summon out one from a Lights one monster from the graveyard. And then three Minerva, this is the young Minerva, there's also an XYZ Minerva for those who don't know. If she's milled, you can then mill another one, and if she's normal summoned, but you'll never use this effect. Um, add a light dragon type monster from your deck to your hand, whose level is less than equal to a number of uh, light swarm monsters with different names, which I don't think is possible. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can't even search out JD if you wanted to. And then three solo recharge along with the two charge of life brigade. Those are just 
Further you have to use, it will allow you to draw and mill, or mill and search. Two Galaxy Cyclones, because you can use this card to banish it from the graveyard, so mill it, it's still very useful. One Rejecky, and three upstarts. Foolish, be able to special summon out Wolf, or you can get a Dama Juggler, or not a Dama Juggler, well you could. Um, which could then get your Hat Tracker, or a Clown Blade, or a Thousand Blade. So Foolish is really good. And then Needlebug Nest, we are running Needlebug Nest and not Cree Bandit because um, it's faster. Cree Bandit works during the end phase, and so you would use him, you'd summon him, you'd use his effect, and then you'd summon out Clown Blade and everybody else during your end phase, and then your opponent would just run over them. Well, with Needlebug Nest, you can choose when to use it, so you can use it during your turn, summon them out, and then, hey, now you have them out on their field, and it's your turn, so you can then make a play. Um, Kree Bandit will get you a spell trap card, which will help with the cons overall consistency of the deck, probably very greatly just by being like, hey, I can add Jar of Avarice, or I can add uh, Charge, and do that sort of stuff. And then three Jar of Avarice, so that way we can return cards that we don't want to mill or have used, such as Hat Tricker, or JD, or uh, Lumina, or whatever we have in the graveyard to our deck to just draw one card. And it will just very nice. And that is it for the main deck. Again, you're just trying to mill and just make rank 4s. Um, unfortunately, we are missing some really good rank 4s like Utopia the Lightning. We had that guy. Um, he would be a really good uh, rank 4. In fact, he'd probably be the main four rank 4 you make. And Minerva, of course, would be good. And if you can get your hands on some, do play it. But she's going to be a little bit difficult to obtain, at least for a while. Now. So. This is what you should expect to see as far as a main deck. Something very similar. We're only running 2,000 blades because you can only use one effect. So if both of them are engraved, you can only use one. Um, so having three would just clog the mills even more and would, could result in clogging your hand. Because he's definitely not a card you would want to draw. The card you could run would be Rota because you could search out or Challenger if you want to. And uh, Raiden. So that is also an idea. For the extra deck, Starter is a thing because... Um, what is it? Yeah, Raiden, Hat Tricker, and Illumina, or a Clown Blade, or whatever, can make a Star Eater, so this is an Out to Towers. Leo, just a good uh, monster to make. Trishula, he's a little bit harder to make. You need two Luminas and a Minerva, because she is a level 3 tuner, to make him. Uh, two Michaels, he is very, very useful. Just pay a thousand life points, banish something, which is awesome. And then if he leaves, if it's destroyed or is it when you lose? When this card is destroyed. So if he's destroyed, you can then um, return lights ones and gain 300 life ones for each. And then for other um, level 7s, you have Moonlit and Black Rose. I thought about putting level 8s, but I didn't see any that I liked. And if I'm going to have two level 4s, like uh, or Raiden and another one of these guys out, I'm going to want to make XZ monsters. So for XZ monsters, we have Gargoyle and XZ Dragon. Formage Trapeze Magician, he's very useful because you can detach one and you can target a monster and it can attack twice this turn, so really great on a JD or something. And you never take damage um, if the amount is less than or equal to this card's attack, which is something useful, really nice, it will stop keeping taking damage from Trick Clown, which means you won't get a Thousand Blades effect, you won't trigger a Thousand Blades effect while he's face up on the field, but you shouldn't need him. 101, Castell, Diamond Direwolf, just generic ones. Diagaster Emerald is really good to make, um, especially if you mill him first turn. Maybe you mill a Clown Bitch, like a Charge of Life Brigade, and you get to make Diagaster Emerald and then return some monsters such as Hat Rico or something to your deck and draw one card. So it can be a mini pot of Atlas for you, or we'll return some of your XZ monsters and Synchro monsters for late game. And of course, we are then running the one Abyss Dweller, just so that way we can stop cards in the graveyard. And that will be it for the deck. Um, this, it's lights once, so expect it as it will be. I mean, if you have Minerva, the deck's way better. It's way more consistent. I would say run three JDs because you'd be doing so much milling. You just need those two cards. You just need to make two cards, and you would be able to do so much milling that. Minerva and drawing also because Minerva also draws for each light one monster you mill, so you mill two of these guys 
boom, that's just another card drawn. You mill maneuver and that that's even more. Uh, so there is a lot of very good stuff with the XIZ, but unfortunately that isn't going to be easy to get. So yeah, tell me guys what you think of Lights Runs. Um, again, this deck is it's fun, it's definitely fun uh, playing with this engine. Uh, they can be put in other things as well, but it is definitely a very interesting deck um, to play without Minerva and to see it still be playable after all this time. Like this deck is really old. Uh, Light of Destruction, I believe they came out in maybe even earlier than that. I'm not 100% certain. So, hope you guys enjoyed this deck with file. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for some more videos. We'll have duels with this deck up tomorrow. I'm thinking of doing some shit the whole duels on Friday just for the hell of it. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed this deck. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.